Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. For last week's video, we actually released a footage of our new aquarium tanks in which we have constructed a shrimp tanks that mimic the environment in which they are growing at and so that it can enable us to observe the shrimps a bit better. So this week, I'll be sharing a little bit on the feeding behavior of the Vaname shrimp and some results that you wouldn't expect to see if you are in a bioflock setup or even in a larger pond setup, so stay tuned. So welcome back guys. For those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we actually produce weekly content with regards to shrimp farming with bioflock or even mud crab with RS system. So do like and subscribe if you like our content. So one of the first things that we did is to implement a feeding tray instead of a broadcast feed. So for those who are in pond farming or even in bioflock, even high intensity shrimp farming, you probably have used something called a feeding tray. And that feeding tray is usually extended all the way to the bottom in which you have to lower down the feed and it goes down to the bottom and check the shrimp regularly. So what we have done here is to use the same concept as a feeding trip, but we actually elevate it from the ground. And the first experiment was to see whether the shrimps could actually swim up and get the feed. Because if we can implement a feeding tray that is closer to the surface, we don't have so much of a wastage. That's number one. And it's easier for us to monitor. So as you can see, when we stock the shrimps at the aquarium, most of them can actually learn how to swim up to the tray. But you see over here, over a long time lapse, over a few hours actually, you can see they're all able to sort of go up to the tray and look for forage for food and continuously go down at the bottom to look for other form of uh, feed substance in among the soil. So this is actually not so common when you're actually in a liner pond or even in an RS system where your tank bottom doesn't have sand. So over time, what we realize is actually if even though the feeding rate is correct, we have a little bit of leftover feed. So the next conquest was for us to actually understand why is there such a, a leftover feed despite the feeding rate was calculated. So one of the things that we actually realize is if you start to use pellets that are a bit too small because these shrimps are about to transition to the next size and what they actually do is this they actually take up the feed but they do not ingest it as you can see with our friend over here in another tank so this tank is actually does not have any artificial uh, soil or it doesn't even have any uh, plants so it's actually how we culture shrimps in bioflock tank probably the only difference is the ras systems so you can see the shrimp actually put the food in the mouth but they do not ingest it and similarly for this guy he just plays with it and he tries to swim off so actually when the shrimp is actually picking up the feet what you would do is you actually will put it in his mouth to hold it over here and you know probably suspend or just find somewhere else that you can feed on so that was not actually seen with the pellets that were used originally so what we actually changed then was to use a pellet that is slightly a bit bigger uh, suitable for its size and you can see that the behavior of the shrimp is a bit better for the shrimp so what it does it picks up the feet and again swims away to consume it uh, on another location and we see in a separate event, we see the same guy doing the same thing, picking up the feet and swimming away. So in reality, what usually happens is you need to use the correct pellet size according to the shrimp size. Because if it's too small, what will probably happen to the shrimp is we'll just play around with it. So in our tanks, we start to get a little bit of moat and we'll continuously update everybody on the new experiment that we'll be doing. So stay tuned guys, we hope you enjoy our content at Rascal Culture that shows you in detail how to cultivate shrimps and how to cultivate my crab. So stay tuned and do like and subscribe.